Have you ever wondered how a builder works out where to put a house? Uh, you know, obviously it says on a piece of paper where it's going, but how does that translate into a corner over there and a corner there and a corner there? Keep watching. I started setting the house out this week and man it is doing my head in. It is the by far the hardest set out I have ever had to do. There is not a single straight boundary to work off. The uh, profile over in this corner is 3.3 meters out of the ground and there's way too many corners on the house. I'll talk to you about how I resolve some of those issues. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, click the notification bell, and we will get straight into this. So why was it so difficult? A normal house, here's the road, here's a nice square boundary, and you put the house somewhere like here. This is easy. You'd measure off this boundary, you'd measure off this boundary, and then you'd parallel the house off those two points. And you could even have an angle in your boundary and an angle in your house and it would still be easy. Same thing, you just find the two straight boundaries um, and you parallel off them. And obviously when you've got a nice flat site, everything is easy. But what do you do when your property is like this? And it's on a slope. It left me struggling to even know, where do I start? There was a lot of scratching my head, walking around in circles, and getting distracted by planes in the sky. Wow, that's Kauai Levi. Hey, it's there. I got there in the end. This is the front corner. These things here are called profiles. I actually had to build it twice because the first time I built it too short. Oh, I learned a few lessons. So before I tell you about those, let's, let me show you the plans and let's see why it was so complicated. There's not a single straight boundary to parallel the house off. Not only that, but the house is also on a slope with four different floor levels. So the first thing I did was determine a set out line. By the way, this is not the only way to do this and there's probably builders out there who have got a better way and a better method, but this is how I worked through the problem and what worked for me. So if I, I worked out, if I could find this point here and this point here, I could then set the house out off those two points. I could then use the foundation drawings um, to get some intersections such as this one here where the garage is and this one here where uh, that marks that little jut out. So I could then get this line along here. I could then check those lines for square using good old Pythagoras uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Builders use a lot more maths than you realize. That's this line here and um, I managed to get that within millimeters. Now, now I was finding this point in the back corner, that tower that we were talking about. Now that I had that line established, I can use this line here, which will determine the back of my garage from the foundation plans. By measuring up here, putting it on that line and stringing across. I could then also find the, that point there. I um, checked this side for square and you, you get the picture, you start working the rest out. Easy. Let's head back to site and look at how it was all put together. That's my beautiful apprentice.
in the corner there is a, the datum pin. We talked about that last week. Um, so that is the pin that sets the height for everything else. All the other heights of the top floor, the basement, are all in line with that pin. I'll show you that. So then, now that I've got the datum on here, I can measure the difference between the floor level and the datum, and I'll move this down. This then will give us the top floor height. Earlier you saw me spraying paint on the ground. What I, what I was doing is finding what's called the intersection point. The best way to describe it is imagine I had a giant piece of string with a um, pen or a marker on the end. The plans will come with measurements to give you some starting points. Imagine your string is a certain length, like this one here is 8210 mils and this one coming across is 2165. So imagine I got a long piece of string, 2165 long with a pen on the end, and I'm finding where that intersects the 8210 line. Now I have two points exactly located and I, that's how I put that line across. Then to get that top corner, I use the, t these two boundary pins to find another intersection point. Again, getting my long piece of string. Uh, of, again, this is just an example um, and, and not to scale, obviously. And then I get a point there. But obviously builders don't use long pieces of string with a pin on the end of them. They use what a, a really long tape like this. And as you can see, it's millimeter precise. Someone would hold one end at one meter and you would do swing along arc like this and where that intersects is your point. Let's head back to site. This is the tricky part. Uh, that's the corner of my building there, but it's the corner wants to be way up in the air. So I'm going to have to build a tower here. We're going to get floor level for the garage. We're also going to get a floor level for the second story. And then that is the four corners of the building. And now we've turned what is the most complicated set out I've done into a nice box. And every other measurement um, can then be taken off those four corners. Keep watching. So I've got a temporary structure in place. I've screwed it all so that um, I know that we're gonna to have to move things a few times to get it all right. But what I'm gonna do now is use the dumpy, uh, the, the level, I'm gonna get, get the floor level up there set, and then I can start to get some lines in place and actually work out what's going on. Okay, first problem, I <laughs> knew this was gonna happen. Those aren't even high enough. Um, I underestimated how low the ground was. I thought I'd worked it out to be three meters in their three meter um, sticks, but well, I can either put some new longer ones in. What I'll probably do is just tack something on top. Now I'm going to transfer this, uh, the floor level from up there to there. 
Hopefully it works. That, so that's why I screwed it. Um, this makes it easy to move stuff without, um, you know, if you nail it, it's a mission to move it if it's not right. Um, so that there, there, that there is where the front corner of the dining room will be and that is at the floor level. Mm -hmm. 